Hey yo everyone, welcome to week 9 of 5 Block Fridays. This week we're making Cupid's Arrows in Minecraft using just these 5 command blocks. So these are custom tipped arrows that when they hit a mob that can be bred by feeding it, will have the same effect as if you had just fed that mob, uh, regardless of what type of food that mob prefers to eat. Um, they also have some other things, like they don't damage the mob when they hit it, um, they don't anger the mob when they hit it. So it basically works as, as long-range feeding. So to create the arrows, you take regular arrows, stick them into a hay bale, and then throw a lingering healing potion at them, and you'll get these Cupid's arrows. Um, I have a small resource pack turned on to give them these heart tips, but you know, turn that off and they'll look like regular tipped arrows. Yeah, you know, the resource pack doesn't do a ton. So once you have these arrows, you can just find any mobs that you would normally breed by feeding. And you just shoot them with the arrows. It works as if you had just fed them, and you get a baby mob. Um, because they're just arrows, you can also put them in dispensers. And hopefully that lined up right. Can't fight. Yeah, put them in dispensers. You can shoot mobs with them that way, and they'll breed like that. So you have sort of a somewhat automated breeding station if you want to, where you don't even have to manually feed the mobs anymore. But yeah, that is pretty much it for what this creation does. I'll do a brief overview of how the commands work, and then I'll have a video later in the week doing a more in-depth look at the commands. This first command block takes care of creating the custom tipped arrows. So it looks for arrows that are in hay bales and summons a new item entity nearby that has all the custom arrow data, and then it kills the arrow that was stuck in the hay bale. The second command modifies the entity data of the arrow as it's in midair. Um, so it changes the owner so that it doesn't make the mob it hits angry at whoever shot it. It changes the damage value so it doesn't do damage. It changes the sound effect so it's a, a different sound when the arrow hits. Uh, these two commands take care of modifying the entity after it's been hit. So this bottom one will change the value to make the entity think it's been fed. It will also uh, set it so it's not angry anymore after being hit. And this command summons a cloud of heart particles around the, the entity right after it's been hit. And finally, this command will kill any of the custom tipped arrows that are stuck in blocks. Uh, this is because when an arrow is fired, it loses a lot of its custom item data. So if it had like a custom name, it doesn't have that name anymore, a few things like that. And so instead of having um, arrows that once they land and you pick them up, get renamed to uncraftable tipped arrow, um, I decided to just kill them so that they, you, know, you get one shot and then they're gone. That's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to see the technical in-depth explanation where I go through each command line by line. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see that later in the week. If you have any questions about this episode or previous episodes of Five Block Fridays, uh, there's a link to my Discord down in the description. Uh, that channel is also a great place for just any other questions you have about command block or data pack creations. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you all again next Friday.